Undiscovered Nara presents the Kashihara Jingu Shrine. Hello folks, today we are taking a look at the Kashihara Jingu Shrine in the city of Kashihara in Nara Prefecture. For this video, I'm joined by my friend and co-host Kotono. First, some general info about the Kashihara area. Located in the southern end of the Nara Basin, Kashihara is a very significant area for the early formation of Japan. More specifically, it's where the legendary first Japanese emperor began the imperial family line. And a thousand years later, the first planned imperial city was also established in Kashihara by Emperor Tenmu and Empress Jito. These are the four locations that we will highlight in this video. They are all only about a 15 to 20 minute walk from Kashihara Jingu Mai Station. We are now at the entrance of the front Tori Gate for the Kashihara Jingu Shrine in Kashihara City. Tori Gates, such as the massive ones that stand at Kashihara Jingu, can simply be explained as gateways that separate the world of the divine from the profane. When you pass through a Tori, you pass into the sacred world of the gods. Kashihara Jingu is actually a fairly recent shrine, constructed in the year 1890 during the Meiji period. It was built to enshrine the previously discussed first emperor of Japan, named Jimu, and his consort, Hime Tatara Isuzu Hime. Legend says that from their union came the imperial line of Japan. Jimu General started the country of Japan at this place. In Kashihara. Yes. So this shrine kind of marks where the country of Japan started. Mm -hmm. So why is the imperial family of Japan important today? Because they are a symbol of Japan. The first capital of Japan was actually established in this area as well, right? That was mentioned in Nihon Shoki, the second oldest book of Japanese history. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've never read that. Have you read that? No. <laughs> okay. Behind the shrine is this mountain. This is Mount Unebi. And Mount Unebi is part of the Yamato Sanzan, or the three mountains of Yamato. And Yamato is the old word for Nara, right? The three mountains of Yamato are located in Kashihara, where Emperor Jimmu is said to have established his first palace. And Japan's first imperial city was planned around these three mountains as well. Clearly, the ancient people of Japan must have seen some significance in these mountains. So, Kotono, what, what is this exactly? It's called Emma. It's a wooden board which we write our wishes in. What's the wish exactly? Um, this board, hmm. it wishes our good luck. For good luck. I heard that they set up a new Emma every year because it's based on the Chinese zodiac, right? And, and this year is the ox. <laughs> Kashihara is famous for this giant Emma in particular, so a lot of people come here to check this out. The inner shrine, where prayers are offered, is elegantly constructed and has a lot of space. There's also a window where you can buy various goods, including omomori charms and Emma. Moving on, next to the Kashihara shrine is Fukada Pond. A location that seems to be a bird sanctuary of sorts. In fact, I'm not sure I've ever seen so many different types of birds in one place anywhere in Japan before. This sign shows you all the different kinds of birds you can see here, and today we see a lot of ducks around, right? So, if you're into bird watching, this is a great place to come. Uh, on this sign, I thought was interesting is that it's kind of unusual is that they have the sounds that the birds make written down for you, right? I'm, should I try to make some of these sounds a little bit? Okay, okay. The kaitsu booty goes, kitty, kitty. Let's try this one. Ah! <laughs> How about, you want to try one? You, want to, <laughs> well, you don't want to try any? Why, why don't you want to make bird sounds with me? Come on.
There is also a small Inari shrine on the north side of the pond, clearly marked by the distinct tunnel of red Tori gates seen here. Okay, so we are now in this beautiful place uh, covered in moss and all these Tori gates. Um, this might look familiar. Uh, this is called an uh, Inari Shrine. More specifically, this is the Nagayama Inari Shrine. There are many Inari Shrines in Japan, and the main one is in Kyoto, which is called Tsushimi Inari. Uh, gates are also donations, right? Mm -hmm. From different companies or people. So they donate the, the Tori Gate, and then it gets set up here and makes this long hallway. The many Inari Shrines of Japan are dedicated to Inari Okami, the god of foxes who has influence over things such as fertility, agriculture, and prosperity. With our visit to the area winding down, Kotono told me about her favorite thing from the day. Well, I like the big Emma, and especially at this time in the middle of the pandemic, I really hope this year will be great for everyone. For more info, please check the description of this video. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you on another episode of Undiscovered Nara.